<laughs> well, hello there, it's me, Kyle Ren back here. What? Another review, and today we're gonna be reviewing Gotham Season 3, Episode 3, I think. So let's get right to it. Now, it does start off with Jervis Tech, who becomes Mad Hatter in the in the DC Universe, who becomes one of Batman's villains. It like he's doing like tricks for Barbara and Tabitha, and he does and he does like some cool tricks like. Like when the episode aired, he did this cool trick with some man, like where the man obeyed him. Like I don't know what he did, like with like with his t like time watch kind of or something, but he made that guy obey him. Like and he told him to stand on a fucking chair, and the man was able to stand on the chair without even falling. And he was even he even told him to stand in only one foot. And, and oh my god, that trick was so cool. What he did. I, I was okay with him, like, during that part. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and then, like, Gordon, like, mm, Valerie leaves Gordon's mm, place. Because she says she have to get to the, like, Gotham General or something, like, in one hour or something. Like, you know, like, where she, like, uh, you know, like, you know how she's a news reporter and all that stuff. So, yeah. Plus, I think, plus she probably related to Vicky Vale. Who appears in the Batman Arkham games? So yeah, and then Gordon goes to the GCPD to get his ch to get his check from the bounty. You remember, like when they were hunting down Fish Mooney and all that stuff. So yeah, and then Lee Tompkins shows up, and and Captain Barnes offers her her old job back. Remember how she was working at the GCPD like back in season one and in season two? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember? Yeah, I, that's why she probably came back. She even said about her fiancé that he works at the Gotham General. And, yeah. So, yeah, Jimmy sees Lee there, and then they just, like, talk. They just, like, talk and stuff. Like, I almost thought they were going to get back together when I saw the promo, but it turns out that they, well, technically when Alice saw the promo. Well, when I also saw the promo, I almost thought they were also going to get back together, but it turns out that they weren't. So, yeah. <laughs> like, when we saw Lee get out of the train, like, uh, last week, almost thought, whoa, she probably came back to look for Jim, <laughs> and all that stuff. But, no, it actually turns out that she's probably gonna get her old job back at, at the GCPD. So that means we'll, that we'll get to see Lee a little, little bit more this season. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then, like, Bruce's double ganger, like, just hangs out with, at Wayne Manor for a while, and then... Like, Bruce and Alfred teach him how to fight, and then, oh my god, Bruce's double ganger can fight, ah, oh, like, so good, like, he's so good at fighting, like, he even punched Alfred, like, I don't know, like, two times or something, and then Alfred punched him, and his nose bleeded, but he didn't feel any pain, wow, I can't believe it, Bruce Wayne's double ganger can't feel any pain, wow. And so then, like, Selena shows up, and then Bruce's double ganger hides, and <laughs> then Bruce Wayne's double ganger, like, wants to steal, steal Selena from Bruce. And so, the way he does, like, Selena asks, asks Bruce to help her find Ivy, and then Bruce says that he can't. And then, <laughs> you won't believe what Selena called Bruce, a, a bitch, like a son of a bitch. That's what she called him, <laughs> so yeah. And then, like, at night... Bruce Wayne's double ganger cuts his hair out to look like B Bruce Wayne. And then, like, by the end of the episode, now this is kind of a spoiler, like, ahead of the episode, like, right before I talk about the other things that also happened during the episode, like, he, like, oh my god, drives in Alfred's car. Can you believe it? Wow. He drove Alfred's car all the way to Selena. And then he asks Selena if she wants to eat or something, and she says, yeah, I'm hungry, and something like that, and so... Now, Bruce Wayne's double ganger is trying, to, is trying to steal Selena from Bruce. So now let's get to Penguin and the mayor. <laughs> so yeah, like the mayor is like uh, giving a huge announcement and then Penguin shows up and he says that he's going to run for mayor now. And so then like Penguin meets the mayor at, I don't know, like some place and then, oh my god, all the others just start like get, pulling their guns out and pointing at each other. <laughs> And then, like, Penguin goes to, like, Indian Hill, you know, like, Arkham and all that stuff. Remember, like, where Hugo Strange, like, had all the monsters in before Fish Mooney, like, help, like helped them escape and, some, and stuff? So, yeah, he goes back there and 
he tells the warden to release Nigma, and then, oh my god, remember how Penguin and Barbara, like, got, like, you know, a certificate for being sane? You know, not insane, but sane, which means that they're not insane. So, yeah, Nigma gets that, and now he's free from Arkham, and then Penguin picks him up. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. And now, let's go back to Gordon. Now, Mad Hatter, like, does go to Gordon and asks him to find his sister Alice for him. And so, Gordon tries looking for Alice, and he does find her, but then Alice escapes and brings some guy that she was with. And it turns out that she's poisoned, like, that she has, like, this dangerous, I don't know, like, flu or something, like, I don't know, like, the man kissed her, and then he was just, like, acting weird and all that stuff. So, yeah, that means that her blood is poisonous or something, and so, yeah. Plus, Mad Hatter, you know, Jervis, like, also makes Barbara or obey her, and then Barbara just falls in love with Jervis and all that stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't believe it. And then Gordon shows up, and then, oh, my God, you don't believe what happens. Like, oh, Jervis controls Gordon and almost tries to make him fall off a fucking roof, like, jump off a fucking roof so he can die, and then Alice shows up with a gun, and then just shoots T Jervis, but then, but the promo, they showed that Jervis is still alive, so I don't even know how he survived, and then Alice saves Gordon and all that stuff, and then, oh, I'm gonna talk about Lee and her fiancé, and just so you guys know, her fiancé's name is Mario, and you will believe who appeared, Falcone, it turns out that Mario's father is Falcone, I didn't even know that. So yeah, they just start like having a conversation and all that stuff, and I think that's about it, guys. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna like say like everything that happened in Gotham like randomly, like when I do reviews for season three now. So yeah, and keep a lookout for Ellis, cause I've been trying to look him for him everywhere, and make sure you guys tell me where he is so I can find him. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.